Let's start with a very basic essential definition for this course. What is UX? User experience, or UX, refers to the experience a person has when using a product. And it's subjective in nature because it's rooted in individual perception and thought with respect to that system. So what the user perceives when they use the product. What is UI? User interface, or UI, refers to the space and method created to serve as the junction between a user and a product. The goal of the UI is to facilitate effective operation of that product. So then what is UI UX design? This is the process of designing the user interface and the experience that results from its use. So why is it then that UI and UX are integral? While UX design is mainly concerned with the overall experience of a product and if its structure meets the broader design goals, UI design is focused on how the product is laid out, the design of each view of the interface, and all its details. But a great UI design must support a great UX. A slick-looking interface that doesn't consider what makes a good experience will fall flat. And likewise, a strong experience plan with no attention to interface details is an incomplete design. When designing an experience, it's critical to consider the factors of the medium. For a mobile application, interaction choices are influenced by the size of the device, and the methods of interaction that are available have been developed to support that context. It's important to consider what touch gestures will be most appropriate for any given interaction, and also if elements are large enough to easily interact with them. It's also important to consider how and when the user typically interacts with their mobile device. The design process is typically broken into four phases, and they are the first, discovery, assessment, and user research, the second, wireframing, the third, visual design, and the fourth, production and development. In the first phase, there are a number of questions that need to be asked and answered and considered throughout the process. Overarching these range of questions is one central question. How will the UI UX meet these design goals? The questions that need to be asked and answered often include, what is the purpose of the application as you explore the core concept? What will the app do as you explore the features to include in it? And what content will be in the application? What are the user expectations in relation to the app itself, in relation to the device? Will the app do what the user wants and needs it to? How will it be clear to the user what the application does? What will the user do to drive the application's features? And how will it be clear how to interact with the application? On the road to creating a great user experience, we need to consider what makes a bad one. If a user is confused by the navigation and layout, that's a clear indication of a poor design. Providing the user with too many options in any given view also creates confusion for the user. The absence of visual cues is another major pitfall. It's visual cues that tell the user how to act, and this is something we'll give attention to later in the course. If the content is bad, the user will not find value in the experience. And finally, if things are broken and the application cannot be used as intended, the user experience has failed.